Hello, welcome to Fancy Lady Cross Stitch. My name is Tina and today we're just taking a quick flick through of the latest World of Cross Stitching magazine. This issue came out on the 21st of February if you're interested in any of the designs and you want to pick it up yourself. So free with this magazine came a card collection and I can't show you inside because they're all just charts but they have got some really nice designs with flowers, hearts, cats and different sewing things so if you have got a friend who's interested in different sewing crafts, dressmaking the things and flowers then there's lots of nice ones that I'm sure I'm going to be using in the coming year and that's by Doreen Jones. Also to go with that there are three charms oops that i've now just lost Let's try and slide them back on so there's three charms there there's a bobbin a heart and a cat's face and they're really nice sizes as you can see they're about the size of my thumb now so they are meant to go on the cards but i think i will use them more as a zip pull for my cross stitch uh, project bags i think they'll be nice because they're nice to get hold of to pull on those so i should be using those so moving on to the actual magazine there's a nice picture of peter rabbit i've recently done a peter rabbit last year so i won't be stitching that but i really like that design and then opening it up we have the welcome page and the contents and then the first design is a fairy tales and you've got a little mouse with a lawnmower which is quite sweet and then that tells you about your free gift there and then you've got peter rabbit with the chicks very easter themed very nice design would also be nice in a nursery for a child then we have the letters page of things that people have already done. More of things that people have already finished. And some more little designs and these are Welcome to the Jungle. These are by Diane Mitchen and they're all set out for a nursery really and sort of baby designs but i think if you took off triplets and double trouble and hello baby they would just be nice cute designs to use anyway really then we have another nice spring design which is daffodils an out and about page which things that are coming up in the uk we've got so dates for the UK, on the 20th of March is the next magazine. We've got the Country Living Spring Show, Alexandra Palace in London at the, on the 23rd to 26th of April. And the Creative Craft Show, XL London, the 24th to 25th of April. And then there is a review of the book by Emma Congdon, and that's 20 Designs to Inspire. And also there's a Keep Track of Your Stash by Peacock and Fig there as well. And then we have Ask the Experts. Then Spotlight, Answering Questions, Hints and Tips, and the Bicycle Design. Roundup, a Beautiful, Beautiful Bakes. These are all baking theme designs and then we have the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris which unfortunately had a fire, was it last year? I'm sure it was last year. And 
Now these designs have been a favourite with me. They are all Art Nouveau inspired and I really like these designs. Unfortunately most of them are just the chart so I can't show you but they go over four pages. There's 43 designs there, mainly of flowers. There are a couple of small peacocks there as well. So yeah, once again, for card making, very nice, very pretty, or if you wanted to make up a sampler. Here are some more of the designs. And they also help with making a sampler. So on here, it gives down here an example of what you can do and how you can use those. And then we move on to the letters and these are all chocolate themed letters. Once again, I sh can't show you the letters because they're just designs, but you can see from this how you could use them for a chocolate lover. Then we have advertising, a different magazine, which is Animal Friends, cross-stitch favourites. And that is all designs there, if you like your animals. And then we've got Happy Easter. And this is by Jenny Barton. A nice seasonal stitch. And then the first part of a historical sampler that they're starting a salon so these are only using whole stitches and the designers are the historical sampler company and they're going to have different section each time and this is part one in this magazine as i say this is the 21st of february it came out Then the pet of the month is a bearded dragon, which is a lizard type creature by the looks of it. If you have a bearded dragon, you might want to do that one. And then we have from Cheryl McKinnon, and she's designed a, what are they calling it? A stitch kit. It goes over the arm of your chair, so you've got everything you need over the arm of your chair. But also you could just use it for the motifs up there if you wanted to use those. And it also shows you how to make it up. I quite like this design actually. It's Fabi's Masterclass and she is showing a different stitch each time. And this time it's called the spider web stitch and it's actually the little flowers there and above the wellies. I think that's a quite cute design. I really like that and it's nice to learn different stitches but not to have to have too many so you can just have a go. Obviously if you didn't want to do those stitches then you could just put some little buttons on there couldn't you? Just have some cute buttons. Then we've got enter to win and then there is a nice sheep design I'm sure that'd be popular with the knitters as well we like to have our sheep designs and then spotlights on carol thornton saying about her designing where she gets her inspiration from and it's just general things and then what's coming next month so come in next month in World of Cross Stitching, you've got Bride and Groom, you've got Sea Life. This reminds me of the other Blackwork Hummingbird that was in a magazine a few years ago. But this they're using different colour, but it's still got... I'll lift it up so you can see it a bit better. It's still got that um, Blackwork type of thing. That's very technical, isn't it? Type of thing. <laughs> And then there's also a VE Day celebrations. And then you've got that lovely tiger. And also like these wild flower ones, they look clever as well and pretty. So that's to look forward to next month. 
and then just help with your stitching if you're a newbie and the break and that is it so thank you for joining me for a few minutes just to have a flick through i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you would like me to show some magazines i've not bought a magazine for a while so i just fancied taking a look through to see what there is now and um yeah i hope to see you again very soon i will be making a update video hopefully tomorrow so please come back and say hello tomorrow and i'll show you what i've been stitching but for now have a lovely day and i'll see you soon take care bye